Reading in the State Journal about all these famous people giving commencement speeches all over the country, Oprah Winfrey and Tim Cook of Apple and Hillary Clinton, I thought the best speech came from actor, comedian Michael Keaton at Kent State. Kent State, he said, look, don't be afraid to take risks. Don't be afraid to be foolish at times taking risks. It leads to self-discovery. And it gets you back to your youngest state as you were as a child when you were at your most authentic, which means you're pursuing what's in your heart. You're not doing what somebody else wants you to do. You're not living somebody else's agenda. That's great advice. What do you want security for when you're young? You need opportunity when you're young. You can always survive. Get roommates, have two jobs, do whatever, drive Uber at night. Point of it is pursue your dreams because when you're older, it's much, much harder. That's the idealistic advice that Michael expressed, and he did what applied that to his own life, and he made a big success in show business. People who don't succeed don't take risks. If you're playing it safe, that's the outcome you will get. But there's also a feet on the ground part, I will tell you. You don't want to be driving Uber at 56. You want to save 50 bucks a month, 10 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month, whatever you can save or put away when you're in your 20s and just don't look at it, don't touch it, talk to HR, have them take it out of your check. The best advice I can give you, regardless if you go to Harvard or Kent State or Iowa State or Wisconsin, put something away so the time you're 55 or 60 years old, you have money socked away, whether you invested it or just put it under a pillow. Because if you don't do that, you're going to be doing something at 55, 60, 65. You don't want to be doing that. A greeter at a department store, I'm just, there's nothing wrong with that, but I would say it's not in your future. So between taking risks, like Michael Keaton said, putting yourself on the line, but also saving 50 or 10 bucks a month or whatever you can save, that's dreaming big, shoot for the stars, keep your feet on the ground. Good luck, graduates. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're 75, it's not too late. My Two Cents, My Two Minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants, Bill McCashin, a lobbyist to work for Tommy, who knows how to get things done at the Capitol. We can talk about this next time on Two Minutes with Mitch.